In today's photography challenge, we're ditching our expensive camera gear, and instead we're taking pictures on a $10 children's camera. You can't change the lens, it doesn't zoom, there's no touch screen, you can't adjust the exposure. This is gonna be the real challenge today, and I'm ready. So joining me today is Valandas. He's a film photographer from Detroit. Yep. But today you brought your digital camera. I did. But you're not gonna need it. Why? Because we're using a different camera today. <laughs> okay. Are you ready to see it? You got it on? Can you close your eyes for the... And open. <laughs> Bro, what? <laughs> this is a camera? So that's the camera we're gonna be Bro, using this today. this is cute. This is so cute. <laughs> what? It takes pictures? How do I use it? Just press that. Can you focus on it? No? I don't know, bro. <laughs> oh, it's not touch screen. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> bro, what? <laughs> this is amazing, bro. It's gonna be one round. The objective is to get the best three photos possible using this camera. Wow. So we're thinking like editorial, campaign, from this. Are you serious? I think the hardest part about shooting with this is going to be like not having depth of field. I, I normally shoot a lot of my photos at like a low aperture so like I can kind of separate a subject from the background but this seems to be like f45 so <laughs> I have no idea it's gonna be like I think that might be just like kind of the the most difficult part challenging for me I guess. If I'm gonna rate it out of 10 it's going down in rating because it's not touch screen so right now 9 out of 10. Hi, my name is Bianca Lacroix, and I'm 19, um, part-time model, just freelancing right now, but I love shooting with Jess, so this is cool. I'm excited for today. Do 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 do. All right, all right, all right, let's walk over here. I would normally like something like this, because then you can be like, I can separate you from the background and all that, and then it has seemed like more of a, an enticing photo than something shot at like, when everything's like in focus, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna see how it look with this camera. Not really sure how that's gonna look with this, but we're gonna try it out. Oh, it's like weird, cause like the sun. Ah. Oh. There you go. It's like auto <laughs> ISO, it's all auto everything. All right, I'm gonna take like a little wider one, same way. Oh no, do what you just did, I like that. Like kind of rest your hand. No, the other one. No, like you had it on your head, but like you kind of just like rested it. It wasn't like. So I placed her against the fence because like coming, you know, naturally from shooting with a regular camera, it's like, oh, this would look cool because like it'll separate her from the background. And then like it'll kind of just be like this photo where she's like against like a fence clearly, but like you don't really know where the fence is. It could be anywhere, but it just wasn't working out because one, it wasn't bright enough. Like the picture just kept getting like, like it wouldn't auto adjust like the, the exposure so like I was just stuck with like a very dark picture and I was super annoying I like that all right cool I'm spending a lot of time in this spot here stay right there actually I'm gonna take it from the other side I'm gonna take one more like that Turn to your right a little bit, yep. All right, perfect. Um, maybe how you sit like uh, on this, like bleachers. Uh, yeah, we gotta go around. How much time do I got? 30 seconds? All right. Here, can you sit on like the top one? Maybe if I take it from the other side. How close can you focus on this? I'm sorry, I'm gonna be really close. See if I get a picture of like your eye. It's actually not too bad. Oh uh, yeah, that's cool. No, it's not, hold on. All right. That's it? I, I feel like you like gave me less time than I should have had. You working with Jessica? Don't make me come over there. 
So my experience, I have mixed feelings. Actually, I don't have mixed feelings. If we're gonna be honest, it sucks. It's actually not too bad. It's absolutely terrible. First of all, it's auto everything. You can't control anything. So like if you're in a situation where the sun's behind you and you need your model to be a little bit brighter, it's not gonna work for you. Might as well not even do it or try it. And then at some points it gets too bright when you don't want it to. That's also pretty annoying. But other than that, it's cute. So at least you look cute while you're taking pictures. What a camera. Well, and this is so funny <laughs> because it looked like he was doing amazing. And then at the end, he's like, no, I hate this. <laughs> I'm like, I mean, it looked like he got some really good shots. It's been pretty rocky this year. But seeing Valandez <laughs> work with this small bunny camera was the highlight of the year, to be honest. It was great, pretty great. It's a moment that we all needed in 2020. I, I think we can all agree. Okay, Jessica, you have five minutes starting now. Okay. All right. Wait, what? Where am I going? Okay. okay. I think I want to photo. You know what? Maybe we'll do one here and then. Or you know what? Here, can you be on the bleachers? Yeah. And then let's do something kind of like. Why am I taking this so seriously? <laughs> this is not an editorial. Or is it? Yes. Think like Vogue at the bleachers, high school football game, but the team always loses and they might win today, but probably not. But our friends are going, so. <laughs> okay, oh, this is cute. Okay. Oh, ooh, now I know what Valandis was talking about. Okay, I'm trying to be creative. Okay, let's have, okay, I like this. Let's just have you kind of like laying down, kind of like this. I see Jessica, she's like using the camera like, it's a real camera. Like, I don't even know how she's making it look like she's actually shooting like, real pictures like i mean they're real pictures i guess but like you know what i'm trying to say like real dslr pictures this is going to be on your portfolio for sure i can see this on your portfolio bring your arms kind of closer in to get yeah right there oh where's the sun remember the sun was shining through here two minutes left okay okay let's do right here oh yes okay pretty yeah, okay, these are so cute. Yeah, stay right there. Yeah, right there. Don't move. Stay right there. Let's do, remember how you two were telling me about having the hand in, near the camera lens? Yeah, beautiful. Don't move, hold on. Don't move, hold on. And let's get some low angles, yeah. Okay. She got the model doing all types of shit, bro. This shit is crazy. That's gonna be another reason why I lose. Bring your other leg out too. Can you bring both legs out? Yeah, right there. Yeah. We gotta get this on my regular camera for you. You're not gonna be able to use this. Okay, stay right there. Bring your arms in just a little bit, yeah. Like bend your elbow a little. Yeah, right there. This is the shot for me. Like how low can you go with this all the way down? I can put it down here. <gasps> let's do one, let's do a one where you're kind of like towering, yeah, towering over it would be really cool. So I'm gonna put this on the ground kind of and hopefully it'll get you. One shot I was trying to do to be extra creative was get a shot kind of from the perspective of the ground. So I was holding the camera to the ground, but it did not work out. I think it looked better in my head. We all have that moment where we think we're gonna get a great shot and then we try it and it looks like a garbage can, so definitely that one didn't work out, <laughs> but we tried it. We tried to be creative. Okay, let's have you like in be like in here, like in this leaf for the last couple shots. Like bending? Yeah, bent down. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. We, we got we got some good ones. We okay. really did. You okay. did great. Good job. Thank yes. You. To be honest, I felt it was like a little less intimidating than like a real like professional camera. I actually really liked it. I felt more like at ease and like I don't know. And I really couldn't see it, so I, it was just like I don't know how to explain it. It was cool though. I felt really relaxed. How was this? Are we shooting with this again? Are you doing another photo shoot with this? No. You're bringing this to a campaign? No. I Do you even it. like it? I hate it. <laughs> a little toy camera? <laughs> this is amazing, bro. <laughs> it's cute. Is it that bad? <laughs> it's the worst. <laughs> it's, it's one of the worst cameras of all time. I do like it, though. Like, I got a love-hate relationship with it. I, I actually hate it, but I love it, too, because it's really cute. Mm. 
but. What about this? How about now? You still no. like it? No. It's definitely it's, better it's with Mr. Piggy on it. Yeah. Is that a pig? Is it a That's pig? Legit a bunny? That's a bunny? Like, does a pig have those type of ears? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It looks like a snout. That's a bunny. That's legit a bunny. Okay, wait. I thought I've, it was a pig. A crossbreed. <laughs> what do you guys think in the comments? Is it a pig or is it a bunny? Vote down below. <laughs> is Valanda's right or is Bianca right? Let's and it's see. pink. I've never seen a pink bunny. True. Mm, Here's the point. But they messed up with the ears then. The ears Maybe. The ears off. are misleading. Yeah. We would love to thank Valanda's for joining me and Bianca for modeling today. Guys, I'm going to have all their links down below. You guys can check them out. And let us know what you guys think of the final photos. How did we do? Are these going up on Bianca's portfolio? We don't know. I guess we'll have to check the, her website and see. Which is going to be in, down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.